Hidden behind the flashing lights of the big electronic stalls is what some may consider a rarity. There's not a smartphone in sight. Instead, there are cameras, traditional ones, stacked from floor to ceiling. They are timeless and will last forever. They are irreplaceable. David Chan opened his first camera store 45 years ago in Kowloon. Since then, he's seen some dramatic changes in the market. Make in 1960. These days, it's dominated by digital technology and smartphones. But he says interest in vintage cameras and film photography is coming back and growing steadily. The new iPhone and new camera is a different culture. It's like instant noodles. You pour water onto it, you have hot noodles. But it can't compare to fresh homemade noodles. Lai Chun Fai began with a digital camera, but is now hooked on film photography. Not only does he collect, he's also tapped into the growing retail vintage market. Classical cameras have such a long history and every different brand has their own personal touch on it. They're all different design. The younger generation may be experimenting with older models, but the market is still saturated with digital technology offered by smartphones. China is the engine of global growth. While there's been a slight fall in recent sales, it still accounts for 30% of the global market. Apple will be hoping its new and updated devices can hold on to its market share. I will not line up at the store, but I will buy the new iPhone. I'm excited everyone is talking about the pink iPhone 6S. I want one. She won't need to wait long with the next generation of devices set to hit retail shelves around the world within months. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.